Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who creates us, redeems us, and calls us by name. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you and your beloved children. We have turned our faces away from your glory when it did not appear as we expected. We have rejected your word when it made us confront ourselves. We have failed to show hospitality to those you called us to welcome. Accept our repentance for the things we have done and the things we have left undone. For the sake of Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us and lead us that we may bathe in the glory of your Son, born among us, and reflect your love for all creation. Amen. Rejoice in this good news. In Christ Jesus, your sins are forgiven. You are descendants of the Most High, adopted into the household of Christ, and inheritors of eternal life. Live as freed and forgiven children of God. Amen. The God of my salvation be exalted. The Lord liveth and blessed be the rock. Let the God of my salvation be The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Let everything that, everything that, Everything that has breath, praise the Lord. And everything that, everything that, everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Praise you in the morning, praise you in the evening, praise you when I'm young and when I'm old. Praise you when I'm laughing, praise you when I'm grieving, praise you every season of the soul. We could see how much you're worth. Your power, your might, your endless love And surely we would never cease to praise But everything that, everything that Everything that has breath, praise the Lord Let everything that, everything that Everything that has breath, praise the Lord Praise you in the heavens Joining with the angels, praising you forever and a day. Praise you on the earth now, joining with creation, calling all the nations to your praise. If we could see how much you're worth, your power, your might, your endless love, then surely we would never cease to praise. Let everything that, everything that, everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Let everything that, everything that, everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Let us pray. 
O Lord Jesus, make us instruments of your peace, that where there is hatred, we may sow love, where there is injury, pardon, and where there is despair, hope. Grant, O Divine Master, that we may seek to console, to understand, and to love in your name. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading is from Genesis. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still alive? But his brothers could not answer him. So dismayed were they at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come closer to me. And they came closer. He said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves, because you sold me here. For God sent you before you to preserve life. For the famine has been in the land these two years, and there are five more years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvest. God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant on earth, and to keep alive for you many survivors. So it was not you who sent me here, but God. He has made me a father to Pharaoh, and lord of all his house, and ruler over all the land of Egypt. Hurry and go up to my father and say to him, Thus says your son Joseph, God has made me lord of all Egypt. Come down to me, do not delay. You shall settle in the land of Goshen, and you shall be near me, you and your children and your children's children, as well as your flocks, your herds, and all that you have. I will provide for you there, since there are five more years of famine to come, so that you and your household and all that you have will not come to poverty. And he kissed his brothers and wept upon them. And after that, his brothers talked with him. The word of the Lord. A reading from Psalm 37. Do not be provoked by evildoers. Do not be jealous of those who do wrong. For they shall soon wither like the grass, and like the green grass fade away. Put your trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell on the land and find safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, who shall give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord. Put your trust in the Lord and see what God will do. The Lord will make your vindication as clear as the light and the justice of your case like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently. Do not be provoked by the one who prospers the one who succeeds in evil schemes. Refrain from anger, leave rage alone. Do not be provoked, it leads only to evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord shall possess the land. In a little while the wicked shall be no more. Even if you search out their place, they will not be there. But the lowly shall possess the land. They will delight in abundance of peace. But the deliverance of the righteous comes from you, O Lord. You are their stronghold in time of trouble. You, O Lord, will help them and rescue them. You will rescue them from the wicked and deliver them, because in you they seek refuge. The second reading is from 1 Corinthians. But someone will ask, How are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? Fool, what you sow does not come to life unless it dies. And as for what you sow, you do not sow the body that is to be, but a bare seed, perhaps of wheat or of some other grain. But God gives it a body as he has chosen, and to each kind of seed its own body. So it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable, and what is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a physical body, it is raised a spiritual body. If there is a physical body, there is also a spiritual body. Thus it is written, The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. But it is not the spiritual that is first, but the physical, and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven. As was the man of dust, so are those who are of the dust. And as is the man of heaven, so are those who are of heaven. 
Just as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we will also bear the image of the man of heaven. What I am saying, brothers and sisters, is this. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. The word of the Lord. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. And he shall lift you up higher and higher. And he shall lift you up. The Holy Gospel according to Luke, the sixth chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you, And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners. To receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for He is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Rules. It seems as I write this this year that rules have become somewhat obsolete. If someone doesn't like something, they break the rules or change the rules to accommodate their own agenda. And the pandemic has brought this to the forefront of many societies. And as an educator, I'm asked to teach children to obey the rules that are given to them, the rules that society has accepted for years. But now it seems that every rule is challenged by someone or at some level. And as a responsible adult, what do I say to a child that says, I don't have to do that because my guardian says I don't. To me, and probably most of you, rules are important to a civil, and in this time and place, a healthy society. And without them, where would we be? Showing love for our neighbor, even those who may not reciprocate or think as we think. It's good order, as the church says, to have rules. And most of us agree that without rules, there would be no order, only chaos. For us as Christians, the Bible is our rule book for our life. We have been taught by our parents and our grandparents, Sunday school teachers, that the rules we live by for the most part come from the Bible. Do unto others as you would have done unto you was probably one of the first things we learned that we remembered. So as as we remember this sermon on the plain began last week, where Jesus is on the level plain with his followers, and Jesus is continuing to put his disciples through Discipleship 101, giving them the tools to go out to teach and to preach after his death. And this this sermon excuse me, is divided into four parts. 
And the first that we heard last week is, was a collection of blessings and woes. The second, which is today's focus, deals with relationships with enemies and benefactors. And what Jesus is saying in Luke's gospel today changes the rules in a dramatic way. Normal interactions tend to be reciprocal. We normally treat others as they treat us, not the way Jesus asks them or asks us to treat them. If someone does harm, the normal response is to get back at them. The idea of loving your enemies is pretty difficult. How many times don't we see that something horrific has happened to a family, a loved one has been taken from them in some act of violence, and they turn the other cheek and forgive that person? I'm not sure, not times I could do that. And Jesus says, though, show mercy, show compassion. One thing that I have learned is that by forgiving someone who has done wrong to you, you are able to move forward with your life, to love freely those who have done wrong to you. So if you are slapped on the cheek, turn the other cheek. This is an attempt to humiliate the person who was harming them. The offended refuses to be humiliated and takes control from the persecutor. And that's what Jesus has done for us. Christ took our blows for us on the cross. Christ loved his enemies. We were saved by his grace and we owe him nothing. He showed us how to live what he taught and commanded. If we look further at this text from the benefactor's side, to repay one favor with another is the normal coinage of human relationships. And that is the system that Jesus and Luke lived in, more of a patronage system. In this system, one social status and economic status would depend on, one, one, on what one sows to others and what one is owed by others. In Luke's good news encountered in Jesus, such calculations no longer mattered. Jesus had turned the world upside down. No longer was there an empire that ruled the world. And Jesus' life made it that one's status had nothing to do with their standing in the world. Luke discusses these changes from borrowing and lending to love and doing good. They had a new identity as children of God. God showed compassion not only to those in the status quo, but those on the fringes and those on the farthest edge of society. And that is where we come in as Christians today. As a church here today, how do we live out Christ's command to love our neighbors, to do unto others as we would have them done unto ourselves? A good way to think about life and to live in peace with others. What about bless those who curse you? Bless those who curse you? Wow, I don't know. That's a little more difficult. Jesus really meant that standing there on the plain, preaching to those who were eager to see and to hear him. And as he says at the beginning of this passage, who will listen? We have a difficult time playing on a level field. We want to put ourselves above everyone and everything. We stand over people looking down on them. We pick the rules that we want to follow. I am amazed at all the things that happen in our world. It seems there are a lot of things that apply to those in power that are not the same roles, rules that apply to others. Love your enemies? Not so much. Wouldn't that be great to hear our global leaders stand up and say that? Love your enemies? Wars would cease, wars wouldn't begin. Do good and lend expecting nothing in return. Well, that will be the day. It's an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth world. Do you need food for your people? Well, I'm not sending it unless you do this for me. Well, if you don't send it my, to my people, they aren't going to get it. They will starve first. I'm not giving up my power. Do not desire towers of bricks to fall on your enemies. 
We cannot not love our enemies. We cannot not be merciful just as God is merciful. We cannot not do good to those who hate us, bless those who curse us. We cannot not do to others as we would have them do to us. Jesus makes it plain and simple. Love your enemies. Even on the cross, Jesus asked forgiveness to those who were crucifying him. Love is more than words. Love is an action. You can love your enemy without liking them. Feelings have no bearing on our capacity to express our love for our enemies. Love of the enemy means living in hope and acting in the possibility that your neighbor's life can be conformed to the goodness that God desires for each one of God's children. The word used here for love is agape in Greek. And it does not mean a romantic love, liking, or even a friendship. What it does mean is wholehearted, unreserved, an unconditional desire for the well-being of the other, expecting nothing in return. And this is how Jesus wants us to live our lives. And it's not easy for us. God knew that we wouldn't succeed. That is why Christ, what is Christ came for. Jesus reminds us we are all on the same play, level playing field. Christ came for all. So today I want to leave you with the prayer of St. Francis, and we just prayed that in our prayer of the day. But especially now in this time of never-ending bickering and lack of rule, Following these words should be our guide as we come up against so much grief and anger in the world. So here, once again, the words of St. Francis. Put them on your heart. Live them each day as you encounter the chaos of this time. And let this be our prayer in love for others. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me show so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Now may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. And we pray that our unity may one day be restored And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love It's the love we are Christians by our love We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand and together we'll spread the news that God is in our land and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes the love we are Christians by our love we will work with each other we will work side by side we will work with each other We'll work side by side And we'll guard each man's dignity And save each man's pride And they'll know we are Christians By our love, by our love Yes, they'll know we are Christians By our love All praise to the Father From whom all things 
has come and no place to Christ Jesus is only son and no place to the spirit who makes us one and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are Christians by our love and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are Christians by our love Let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Receive God's blessing. God who leads you in pathways of righteousness who rejoices over you and who calls you by name. Bless your going out and your coming in today and forever. Amen. I don't know where to go from here. It all used to seem so clear, but I'm finding I can't do this on my own. I know that you are near I'm done fighting Finally letting go I will trust in you Cause you never failed before I will trust in you If there's a road I should walk Help me find it If I need be still, give me peace for the moment, whatever your will, whatever your will, can you help me find it, can you help me find it? I'm giving you fear, you give me faith. I've given you doubt and you give me grace for every step. I've never been alone. Even when it hurts, you have your way. Even in the valley, I will save with every breath. You never let me go. I will wait for you. you never fail before. I will wait for you It doesn't road I should walk Help me find it If I need to be still Give me peace for a moment Whatever your will Whatever your will Can you help me find it? Can you help me find it? I lift my empty hands and fill me up again. Have your way, my King. I give my all to you. I lift my eyes again. I was blind, but now I see. 
that you are all that I need. Does your road as you walk help me find it? If I need to be still, give me peace for a moment. Whatever your will, whatever you will, can you help me find it? 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 Go with Christ into this weary world. Share the good news. Thanks be to God. Looked down from a broken sky, chased out by the city lights. My word from mile high, best seat in the house tonight. Touch down on the cold black top, hold on for the sudden stop. Breathing the familiar shock of confusion and chaos. People are going somewhere Why have I never cared? Give me your eyes for just one second Give me your eyes so I can see Everything that I keep missing Give me your love for humanity Give me your arms for the broken hearted The ones that are far beyond my reach Give me your heart for the ones forgotten Give me your eyes so I can see Yeah, 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 yeah Step out on the busy street See a girl and our eyes meet Does her best to smile at me To hide what's underneath There's a man just to the right Black suit and a bright red tie Too ashamed to tell his wife That he's out of work So he's buying time All those people Are going somewhere Why have I never cared Give me your eyes For just one second Give me your eyes So I can see Everything that I keep missing Give me your love for humanity Give me your arms for the broken hearted The ones that are far beyond my reach Give me your heart for the ones who got it Give me your eyes so I can see Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been here a million times A couple of million eyes just moving past me by I swear I never thought that I was wrong Well I want a second glance So give me a second chance To see the way you've seen these people all along Give me your eyes for just one second Give me your eyes so I can see Everything that I keep missing Give me your love for humanity Give me your arms for the broken hearted The ones that are far beyond my reach Give me your heart for the ones who got it Give me your eyes so I can see Give me your eyes for just one second Give me your eyes so I can see Everything that I keep missing Give me your love for humanity Give me your arms for the broken hearted The ones that are far beyond my reach Give me your heart for the ones who got it. Give me your eyes so I can see. Yeah. Yeah.